This is Greg Bang coming to you live from Houston, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony Volume 4. Get up for Tony Hinch Clan. Hello, Houston. Make some fucking noise. Turn up my microphones immediately. Immediately, immediately. Up, 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 up. Who's in control here? It must Good. be. It must, no, it's terrible. It's so oh, okay. low. There's a whole speaker system here. I just, I don't louder, 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 louder. Who's on it, baby? <laughs> this is fucking rock and roll. Houston, make Dude. some noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it, baby. I love it like this. This is fun. Always an exciting, different setup. Are you guys having fun at the Come and Take It Fest or what? There we go. You feel yeah. that? You feel that fucking energy of speaker power? <laughs> Let's use it. As you see, this glass vase, they are, we have over... Nine souls that have signed up for Nine. the opportunity uh, to do 60 seconds. This is, a, this is a very scared city of this show, I do believe, when it comes to it. People just want to watch people crash and burn. Uh, so a good, great turnout. We love you. Make some noise again for the people watching uh, via... I don't think we're streaming this. I think this might be the first ever double live Kill Tony, exclusive to only you. N our first ever non-streaming live. Yeah. This w you guys are going to get this shit soon. It's called Wi-Fi. It's going to blow your mind. Yeah. It's going <laughs> to take your game to a whole nother level, Houston. You're going to love it. Uh, you know what? We've done a lot of these Kill Tonys on the road. It's always, uh, you know, very low budget. And uh, since adding a band to our repertoire, we Whoa. have never gotten to ha have a band member of our show at one of these fun festivals that we sh do outside of our home club at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles. But... It just so turned out, <laughs> for you fans of the show, the six of you in this room right <laughs> now, you are in for a special treat because one of the band members is here at the Come and Take It Fest doing the goddamn comedy jam tonight. You know him from the wave at the Rose Battle, his hit show, uh, Stand Up on the Spot, so many other amazing things. This is the funniest and the coolest human being that I get to work with ever, and he's here for you to be the band tonight. It's Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! All the niggas acting up in the world. You better bust that if you don't pull that. Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood? Had it, had it, had it, had it. Oh hey everybody, how's it going? I don't know if I really got that intro. What was that well, supposed well, to be? Where's your hood at, Jeremiah? Where is it? I don't know it? where to go. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Was that straight out of Compton or something? No, that was DMX, dog. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, lo it would, I love it. In backstage, Jeremiah goes, uh, well, I got to play this song. This is the only costume I have, and he pointed to his sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> It's 100% true. Because Tony's like, you got your intro for tonight, right? I was like, y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the show. I'm glad that you're here. We're going to have fun tonight because I am also singing a song to close out this baby. Uh, Are you this really? fucking, or the, I guess it's not the festival, but my trip to the festival because this is my last night. Hmm. And we're going to sing a song at the goddamn Comedy Jam tonight live at this venue. I did sound check earlier, and I think you're in for a special treat if you stay late tonight. Goddamn Comedy Jam is one of my favorite shows. It's where comedians just fucking rock and roll. Get to live your dreams. It's it going into, what, a uh, season one on Comedy Central. So congratulations to you on that. You guys ready to meet tonight's comedy guest, huh? You guys like comedy? <laughs> Remember that? The comedy part? Uh, I always have two of the funniest comedians in the world. That's no different tonight. Guests that we've had on this show before, in fact. But here for you right now, Houston, Texas, two of the best comedians in the world, Annie Letterman and Morgan Murphy. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Ah. Uh, come on, Houston, make some fucking noise. <laughs> I don't understand what the point of having a... S I just need a button from now on. Uh, just one button that I can control that just has the next thing loaded into it. You have the comedic timing of fucking, I don't know. It, you know, I, I just... I don't know, I can't I even think of something. stopped it at the perfect time. The part <laughs> of Power of Your Love where it just stops. With the, while their backs are to the audience, I love it. Morgan, how are you? 
I'm all right. <laughs> I'm bad. I, I was I was doing awful for a w- for a while, and now I'm uh, and now I'm not awful. So that's nice. Yeah, it's been a rough week for the ladies, right? The whole Trump thing. Yeah, hopefully some of you guys too. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, I promise you this: is that things are going to get better any day now. Mike Pence is out seeing Hamilton. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> shout out to uh, <laughs> that'd be a funny. It'd be a funny fake, f- fake internet video to make is if we just pretended like Mike Pence came to this Kill Tony show <laughs> in Houston, Texas. <laughs> anyway, we just want to <laughs> thank Mike Pence and let you know that uh, we love what you're doing. <laughs> Jeremiah, you're doppelgangers in the audience. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. Shit, we got the Hanson brothers. Dude, come up, come up here and stand next to Jeremiah for a second. Get your Look ass up this. here. Hurry up. Get up here. Get up here. How many times do I have to say it? Brothers. Guys, it's Jeremiah. This is like, yeah. Wow. wow. Look at this. All we need. All right, all right. Get out of here. I always, uh, as an avid podcast listener, my favorite parts are always the "Don't they look alike?" Uh, segments. <laughs> When I'm driving in my car. Strangely enough, people do love that shit. Like, they <laughs> use their imagination and yeah. everything. Like, oh, he must have that weird Meg Ryan haircut. <laughs> you know. <laughs> They're always just driving to work, imagining Jeremiah, <laughs> his twin brother. Annie, you could almost be the third I brother the in, third that, yeah. uh, in that group. I could be the third brother. <laughs> You're not that far off. Uh, so what do you guys say we just jump into it? You're two of my favorite human beings. Right. You've done this show before. Let's we talk it. to comedians. They do 60 seconds of stand-up. Sometimes it's somebody's first time ever doing stand-up. Sometimes it's somebody in that city trying to show off, trying to blow up on one 60-second spot on a show with that hundreds of thousands of people listen to, the smartest comedy fans in the world. <laughs> And anything can happen. And then after the 60 seconds, comedians, if you don't know, your time's up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Dear God Almighty. (laughs) Four (laughs) cues that you have to hit in an hour and a half long show. And it's just like... Oh, it played. Kitties don't always make noise. That's the sound kitties make sometimes. Maybe a little bit louder than nothing. (laughs) That's what it sounds like. That makes sense that you would have to hear that so you know the structure of the show. You got to wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry Houston bear. Whoa. <laughs> there he is. Yep, even more. No bear. All right, and a mouse. I don't think this is loud. Wow, there he is. I like how That's people the looked over there bear. just because I did for a second. I just, there's nobody, there's not an actual. <laughs> it's like when the roar <laughs> happened at once, I looked up at that sound booth and everybody else was like, what's that? Go to my truck and get my gun. There's a bear in here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just jump right into it. You guys ready to start Kill Tony live from Houston, Texas? I got a deep vase on this one. This is what they handed me. Some type of fucking like Lexington Steel used condom or something like that. Oh, God. My hand goes deep into it, and out of it I pull Ashton Womack, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Ashton. I like the name. I like the name. 60 seconds of uninterrupted stage time. And then we talk about anything in the world. Put your hands together for Austin Womack, everybody. Come on. Come on. Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name's Ashton, and uh, I got a lisp. Sorry, front row. Uh, I think I think whoever invented the word lisp is an asshole, cause they put the S right in the middle of the word. I came back. I got a lisp. Yeah, nigga. Uh, I knew when you said lisp. One time I was at AT and T. I was trying to get a new phone number. Lady was all happy. She's like, "All right, here's your new phone number. It's seven one three six six seven 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 eight seven. I said, uh, "Fuck no, it ain't. You uh, you better throw some threes in that mug or." Uh, nine, I ain't much <laughs> say all them dead. You know how many you know, words I can't say having a lisp? Yeah, so I was reading this statistic. So I was reading this statistic. Nigga, I saw a fact last week. And uh, <laughs> all right, my name is Ashton Womack. Thank Fuck you, guys. yeah, <laughs> hilarious. Ashton Womack coming in and killing it. And I like your style. You're different because I have no idea what you said throughout that entire <laughs> thing. 
But just I thought something about the way that you said it. I just heard the word like lift, 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 and I was just like, this guy is the next Eddie Murphy right here. <laughs> Without I a doubt. I thought he was talking about Lyft the whole time, like Uber. <laughs> was he, wh what were you saying? Was it Lyft, Lyft. or Lyft? No, it's Lyft. I have a Lyft. I work at Lyft. This is some fucked up shit, man. I love it. That's perfect. I'm going to, you know what? Thank I'm, you. Thank you, guys. You're only hurting my feelings more. Uh, Ashton, uh, w you live here in Houston? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fuck yeah. Born Houston. and raised? Uh, raised. I was born in Galveston. I was born in Swamp Water. That's, uh. <laughs> that's where I was born. Galveston. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's where uh, Robert Durst tried to dump his body at one point. Uh. This fucking guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Exactly this fucking guy born. thought that you could just put bodies, potty parts, chopped up body parts in a trash bag and like just literally like push them out. He blew air This in. is how much of like a billionaire crazy fuck Robert Durst yeah. was. He's like, oh, this must be how the ocean works. <laughs> Goodbye, body parts forever. <laughs> I'm sure the currents go that way for sure, right? I was, like raised, a, a I was raised with money. I don't know <laughs> which way the Wawa goes. There should be like a <laughs> plaque, a plaque there explaining like what happened with yeah. dirt. Like I feel like murder is so popular. I'd go there, take a picture, have some ice cream. I could have a little selfie stand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Selfies. What's crazy selfie. is that like he noticed. I remember seeing something that like he noticed that they were coming back like pretty quickly, and he was just sort of like, oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so then all he did, it was the next day, I think, he showed up, and the body parts were just like there. He's like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and he, so he just grabbed the one that he knew had the head in it. <laughs> and it was just like, I wonder if he numbered fuck them. Because they never got that guy's head. They got everything else. That Robert Durst shit was awesome. Well, I know he was OJ. lucky that no <laughs> other parts of your body are shaped like your head. He would have been confused. Like, <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh, it's the other round thing. <laughs> no, no, no. There's only one. I'm just saying, that a lucky for fire murder? a skull. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a butt it's cheek. Like a, he's, it's like a Christmas presents in the morning when you're a kid trying to hear what it is. <laughs> do you think he got like a smaller bag for the dick, or do you think he like cut the oh, whole torso off? Oh, you know what that off? sound means. What? I got points for that one. Like it's like an at midnight thing. Oh. oh All right, cool. back to you, Ashton. Yeah, uh, sorry, Ashton. So what do you do for work? What do I do? Oh, I install cable, and I go to club in my. I go to the club in my cable van, so. If you ever see a nigga in the Comcast van, it grooves. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my boss doesn't hear this. Please don't be a big podcast. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. You have like that a truck with like a ladder on it? Two ladders, actually. <laughs> awesome. wow. Do you ever break them out at the club? This is right. I, I do. Actually. I do. And I get, try to get Two girls ladders. to dance on it. I'm like, girl. You, <laughs> said, uh, you said that you wear your cable pants to the club. What kind of pants are cable pants? My cable pants, they're pretty, they're base, these pants, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these are the exact pants I work in. I <laughs> Pretty fly. I am. Uh, there you right. go. Everybody yeah. knows when you're rocking those uh, old navy. God uh, damn, this uh, nigga's good. <laughs> this <laughs> nigga called it out exactly yeah. where I'm. What's funny is you guys didn't laugh because you fucking thought it was hacky that I said old navy, and then what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's like this motherfucker is exactly good. Right. I know old navy <laughs> pants when I see him. I know <laughs> faded glory Walmart jeans when I see him. All right. <laughs> Installing cable. Let me ask you something, Ashton, because you have charisma. You have a good look to mm -hmm. you. Well. You ever been installing some cable, you know? Fucking little white lady hanging out, the husband's at work. You're just like, hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. I'm just here to fucking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting, hey, what's up? It's me. My name's Ashton. And they're like, oh, my God, like Ashton Kutcher. Except, <laughs> <laughs> except I get to live my fantasies. And you're like, no, no, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here to, you know, bury some cables inside your walls. No, I no, I I wish, I dream, I try, like I always enter the door dick first just to see, but no. That's probably not frightening. <laughs> no, but not yet. I'm waiting. That's why I'm trying to keep stay there working strong. Anything crazy ever happened? No, I actually I've only been there for like three months. I literally just let me remind everybody that the company he works for is Direct TV. <laughs> Direct TV, absolutely. Right. So, and now that we've said that, anything crazy ever happened? You oh yeah, uh, <laughs> <and> Direct. <laughs> One of two songs. <laughs> 
One of, <laughs> one of two songs Jeremiah knows on saxophone. Yo, yeah, man. You know a lot of crazy shit happens at DirecTV, dog. A lot of, a lot of nothing's happened, man. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you ever cold call a woman you and you're like, do you want to switch from dish to cable? Holy shit. <laughs> Nigga, I didn't even know you had a microphone. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? But shizzle, I was like, who was talking? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my good God. That was one of the great <laughs> moments in Kill Tony history. He just um, looked at me like like David Blaine. Like, I just did a magic. <laughs> like, oh, shit! No, if, it was, if it was David Blaine, I'd be off this stage, nigga. I'm this white boy projecting his voice over here. No, nigga, I'm dressed like David Blaine. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, shit. So, Ashton, uh, I mean, you're very funny. How long have you been doing stand-up for? Uh, three years. Three so years. Three years. All here in Houston. Well, I mean, I started when I was 16, but I didn't take it. I did it when I was 16 for like three months, stopped, went to college, and then did it intensely for the past three years here. What did you and study in college? Uh, media productions, and it's ironic that I work in cable. I already know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's where I work. What kind of production? Media. And damn, what did you want to do? <laughs> What did you want to ask in it, I mean, I, just want, I actually want you know make sketch. I do it on my on the side now, but to my own stuff. But I want to make sketches, right? And you know, television. That's hopefully. You just said the word sketches with no lisp whatsoever. <laughs> <and> everything <laughs> around That's it. That's fake. Because I'm a fucking sketches. liar. <laughs> he nailed it. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, I, tr I try. I work hard on my comedy. It would be funny lisp. if you were lying. If the lisp joke was the first joke you ever wrote, and you had to stick with the lisp yeah. <laughs> for the rest of comedy. <laughs> That's who I am Man, now. I've been living this <laughs> life for <laughs> 26 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's, ju it's just my first joke. I didn't realize it was going to take over the rest <laughs> of my eternities. <laughs> yeah, I, very. F oh, am I not supposed to say anything yet? Is my, do you do you say like you go and then I go or is it like I just like wing it and I'm like oh, you can do whatever you want. Oh, I just thought he was really. I just yeah. was earnest. Is that? Yeah. I thought uh, I thought you were. He's so like Ernest goes to you jail. You're one of my f honestly. You're one of my favorite people <laughs> I've seen at this show. I'm gonna say <laughs> that. Well, yeah. How about that? <laughs> I'll say that too. <laughs> there wasn't Girl. anything like. Girl, oh. too black to blush. Don't do no, this to me. <laughs> I, I really like This is actually you're, the you're first time she's ever been a guest on the show. <laughs> it's oh my true. god. So you're the first oh I've been here. I feel like it was just very like uh, effortless and uh, I love the phone number bit and uh, <laughs> I think you're adorable and uh, and you're like uh, 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 funny great, and right? sweet oh, and nice. Guys, and all those thank things, you so right? much. I really yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. This is awesome. I appreciate the compliments. I'm seriously gonna Take it to heart and now work harder. I appreciate that. Well, I need that. some free channels. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need some. Uh, <laughs> hey, Morgan you got it for real. Morgan uh, Murphy is in the house. <laughs> you got Annie Letterman. Uh, Fox Annie Sports is expanding, <laughs> and I'm. Um, <laughs> go ahead, you Annie. got it. You Annie, what do you think about Ashton? New, I love the look. Friend. I love the casual. We've got a little <laughs> linen on top. We've got like the. You look like you have nurse pants on. <laughs> I love it. You look like a helper. You're oh. next to Jeremiah, so a you look helper. wonderful. Now wait a minute, motherfucker. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. He's about to do the whip and the nay nay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. Ashton, it was nice to meet you. There he goes. Hey, was like, Thank Ashton you guys. Womack, I appreciate everybody it. getting us kick started. Ashton Womack. Ashton I like his name. Whoa, Matt. Let's go back into this creepy vessel. In this dirty glass. Can you submarine. fix a lisp? Like, can you, like, is there, like, a reason why? Like, is there something If you, you try work on? hard enough. Yeah. All right. That's not true. I pulled another mm. name out of the bucket. Here we go. You guys ready for this yeah. or what? Houston, you having fun? <laughs> it's time to meet another soul. Uninterrupted for 60 seconds. It's Tanya Nascimento. So um, I use this form of birth control called the Nuva Ring. It's really great. It's this little plastic ring, and you put it in your vagina, and then you forget about it for like three weeks, <laughs> sometimes longer. And I love it because I'll have sex with a new guy, and he'll be like, what's that? And I get to be like, surprise, I'm made of plastic. <laughs> I'm actually a sexy mannequin. You had no idea. Um, I was at the airport recently, and I was going through, like, the x-ray machine, um, and I was wondering if the TSA agent could see my tampon, because I haven't seen it in weeks. 
Um, this guy on the internet the other day said that the only difference between being creepy and being romantic is whether someone likes you back or not. And I don't think that's true, because like, I don't care how hot a guy is, if he writes his name with blood on my car, I'm always going to find that romantic. <laughs> no matter what. Tanya Nascimento. There you go, everybody. Put your hands together for Tanya. How's it going? Pretty good. How long you been on stand-up? Uh, almost uh, five years. Almost five years. All here in Houston? Um, I'm from Austin. Whoa. Uh, super cool. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Love Fuck it. Yeah. Ladies, Tanya Nascimento, Austin, Texas, five years. First impressions. What are you thinking? I like the um, tampon joke. I thought it was shocking. Toxic shocking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Any letter. Inspired by Tony Hedgecliffe Hinchcliff himself. Um, I thought you were really cute. Um, that's a shitty thing to say. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. I thought the other guy was cute, too. Yeah. <laughs> what? But what? Oh, nothing. Forget it. What were you going to say? No. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, what? Jesus. I'm too high <laughs> for this. <laughs> Me, too. I think I am, too. We smoke. Um, I thought you... I, I think... Uh, uh, <laughs> Are I, you like, here? I think your delivery is like really great, like really like like I'm like want to keep listening. I feel like, and I feel like, y like I would just like I don't know, like uh, writing wise, like I wouldn't do two something stuck in your vagina jokes in a row, um, <laughs> unless you're gonna commit to like 45 oh, minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 45 <laughs> minutes. <of laughs> and then <laughs> definitely do that. But like I would just like I sit with jokes sometimes stuck and stuck like and minutes. like really just like sit with the writing a little bit more like just I don't know like crafting the punchlines because it's like you I want to keep listening to you and you have like a stage presence and like a, a, a pace and like a mellow tone that's like very soothing and awesome and uh, and like sometimes I felt like the punchlines were gonna go elsewhere but uh, but yeah I mean that's it I would say that like you have the thing that is the hardest to get for a lot of people which is like you're entertaining to watch and listen to so congratulations Thank you. <laughs> is that what you do in a longer set like really short quick jokes and change yeah, direction pretty much that? yeah oh that's cool uh, how much time do you think you have total if you had to guess like maybe 15 minutes 15 minutes uh, what do you do for work I well I'm fun employed right now but I used to work at Planned Parenthood Cool. And they fired uh. you? Huh? They fired you for voting for Trump? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What, how'd you lose your job at Planned Parenthood? Um, well, they're, like, really strict, and I had to be watched a lot, and I didn't like it, so I kind of quit. <laughs> <laughs> She's smuggling Because I was, like, I was way too cool with the patients. I was just like, um, let's talk about your abortion. I was just way too, like... La oh. la lazy fair, All right, I guess. stop donating money yeah. to Planned Parenthood. They fired this yeah. poor young lady, okay? You, really she, did, you gave too many high fives after You were doing your best. <laughs> this is what it was. Good job. You were doing your bits at work, uh, weren't you? Yes, is that what it was? was? You were fucking, you gotta be a waitress. <laughs> That's when you can do it. Okay. Do you How long did you work at Planned Parenthood? Um, almost a year. Do What's you really have a new ring in right now? No, I actually have the implant. Were you like, <laughs> were you like when the when the women would come in for the abortions, would you tell them your Nuvering joke and be like, "Don't you wish?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish you'd heard me last week? What are some of the things? Come from, to the uh, show. What's, on, what's <laughs> the craziest thing that you ever saw at the Planned Parenthood? Um. True love. <laughs> <laughs> it's a loving place, Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> Anything oh, stand out okay. to you there? Like um, anybody ever have like, I don't know, anybody ever come in with like, you know, I don't know, something stuck in their, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> had baby like, stuck in their uterus? Well, we had like That's a lot of people like who would like <laughs> literally lose their tampons. Uh, I got a baby stuck in. in my uterus. What's Wait, that called people again? go to Planned Parenthood <laughs> because they have tampons stuck in their uterus? That's oh, what my sure. money's been going to for four years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was all right. So I was helping Again, women that's decide very when, shocking, when they isn't want. It? <laughs> Don't turn on me. <laughs> How much Plan B did you steal? Do you have like a whole closet? Yeah. Over? yeah. I mean, if you want some, you know, uh, yeah, after the show, I have. I might have something for you in my trunk. Save yeah. them, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sell them the out of your seat? fucking trunk. <laughs> we need you. Red Band will snort a Plan B off Fuck a key yeah, in the back. <laughs> I, I'll definitely do that. 
I, I hate Nuvarings. They're the worst. Like, have you, have you ever fucked a girl with a Nuvaring in? Oh, you, you God. Don't you I, hate it? Gross. They let uh, you fuck them. No. And there's a fucking thing that won't get them pregnant. I won't even be a dad either. <laughs> so gross of her. Uh, Jesus. God no, damn go it. Go ahead. Let's hear it. Aunt Annie taking some of that uh, Hillary lost anger yeah, right. out on Brian Jesus right Christ. now. My goodness. Get ready for it to keep coming. <laughs> I just always thought that was like the worst form of birth control because it's, it's, you could feel it. This is the part where Brian oh, makes, to feel makes it. We have to shove it up our pussies, Brian, for three weeks. Uh, we have a fucking weird ring. All anyway. right, you got to stop it. Looks like the, La- the Lance Armstrong <laughs> thing, but... <laughs> I think we should take a picture of Jesus. Annie Letterman and make a poster, and then the caption just says, this is what feminism looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it looks like you too, Jeremiah. You don't believe in equality? It An- just means equality, motherfucker, and you look like a woman anyway. Annie, you, you seem very... Uh, yeah, I, I have bigger what? tits than you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, cool, let's talk about it. Annie. You seem to have some sort of feeling that my body should look a certain oh way. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, you own this it. Almost worst. like you own my body Annie. and you want to maybe take my rights away. Will or whatever. Will I should be fine with it. They're threatening to take our rights away. Will somebody okay please bomb this Planned Parenthood right now? <laughs> Not a good direction for old apathetic Murphy the in the middle of over here. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, that's good. Tanya, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Tanya. Oh, dear God. <laughs> well, you have any crazy, like, skills or talents or anything like that? You ever, like, a uh, yo-yo while uh, she, she, she bu- she bungee jumping? That's not a good thing to ask someone who just came on stage to show their skills and talents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my like God. Really Can we please vote blood. again for another president? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to go four years true? like this. <laughs> um, she just did her skills. Nuvering! What she I said, said had nothing to do. <laughs> what I she said, said had nothing cool. to do with feminism. I, I just know, am a woman and I said it. <laughs> I know. I'm just doing this whole. She wacky said something thing. cool. Oh, what she said. I'm really good at drawing blood. Whoa. That's you know good. what? <laughs> I love having my blood drawn. I look at it. I get fascinated by it. I feel like I would be good at it if I. You should try. You should it. get a Could diva I? cup. Yeah. What's Not that? to bring it back. Yeah. But no, I want to like, I like, I like, sur- I feel like I'd be good at surgery. Like I have this fascination. I feel like I'd be very good at like, I can get that out of your heart. <laughs> you know what I mean? You are good at operation. Yeah. Like just like fucking, I could have precision. <laughs> it doesn't gross you out to watch the. <laughs> no, I shit. love it. You I, play I was operation? very excited. I used to live with yeah. an aunt and uncle and the uncle, my uncle had, uh, he was a surgeon and I would like watch his surgery videos. Wow. Oh, his weird? homemade surgery videos? Yeah. I used to watch my parents homemade videos. <laughs> what makes you so good at drawing blood, Tanya? What do you think it is? You have a knack for uh, what? Uh, I'm Heroin. really good at finding a vein. Yeah. Oh. That's oh, yeah. a big <laughs> part of it. I love it. Uh, Use a little butterfly. A little butterfly I one. I can do a butterfly, little. too. Yeah. Yeah. Don't see any veins here? You don't see um, any, do you? Let's see. Can you, can you see the veins on people with ridiculously high blood pressure? <laughs> <laughs> you got one right there. How many days does he have to live? Oh, she found it. <laughs> Wow. She's good. You're so good. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. so no, I, I, it sucks because they usually can't find the vein, so I'm the guy where they put the needle in, and they just have to, like, move it around and go, nope, <laughs> didn't work. It, it takes you, you, like, 20 do times. Do you try to find your vein yourself a lot, or? N- what? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what? 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 You're gonna what, 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 what? Tanya, what's your love life like? You got a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. Oh, my God. How long have you guys been dating? Um... A year? What does he do? He works at like a yearbook photography Holy shit. studio. <laughs> yes. Thing. Holy you shit. Tell, he's the one that you pick whether you Whoa. want the lasers or the. <laughs> wow. Do you guys ever sneak into the studio and make love in the in the weird glamour shots? Uh, like next to like saying l- make love? I might now. That sounds like a good like idea. Yeah. <laughs> next to like Letterman jackets and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Does he Finally, do we're cool. Does he do comedy? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Are y- have you been doing it longer than him? No. He's been doing it longer than you? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is, com- is it competitive? No. Ooh! Oh, listen to that. No listen with five O's and a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, because I'm doing better than him. But <laughs> <laughs> Welcome I mean, to like, the... You know. <laughs> 
What was that, Jeremiah? Uh, never mind. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tanya. Well, you're very funny. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, Great nice stuff. to meet you. Good job. There she goes, Tanya Nascimento. Tanya does tweets on Twitter. Austin Ashton Womack was nice guy WA on uh, on Twitter. Back to the dirty vessel we go, the Houston vase. Put your hands together for George Brito. Brito! Hi, everybody. So I do not like taking pictures for obvious reasons. Especially with my family, because every picture I take with them always end up looking like the ghost that's been haunting the rest of the family for the last <laughs> 50 years. <laughs> Later they realize I wasn't there when the picture was taken. <laughs> Fucking horrible. But I'm a nice guy. Like, uh, I don't want to seem like an asshole, so I'm going to start carrying around a bag of dog shit everywhere I go. It's a bag of dog shit everywhere. That way, if somebody sees me, they'll think, well, at least he picks up his dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a nice guy. <laughs> And really, what could be more polite than following around somebody for like a few blocks and waiting for their dog to go? And then right before they pick it up, you're like, no, 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 man, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I got a date tonight. I want to give off a good impression. <laughs> That's how I'd have to do it. I don't have a dog. <laughs> but uh, I do have contacts. Went to the eye doctor today, and uh, they told me I shouldn't wear them so much when I sleep, but it's the only way I can see in my nightmares. <laughs> I mean, I think they're nightmares. That's why I need them. It's so hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> a minute. <laughs> George <laughs> Brito, am I saying that right? What? George Brito? Brito. Brito. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, that was an amazing, how about one more time for George, ladies yeah. and gentlemen? That, that was, was really fucking good. awesome. That was very awesome. And I think that it's very fitting that on a show in which I have, you know, an all female panel that Pocahontas would come in. <laughs> and give such an amazing performance. <laughs> You're yeah. rock and roll, man. What, what ethnicity are you? Guess. <laughs> Jocahontas, she just <laughs> whispered in my ear. <laughs> You're so funny. Why wouldn't you just say it into a mic and kill? Because she knows that you want it. <laughs> That's I how cold-blooded of a killer that uh, Morgan is. <laughs> Jocahontas, you I'm not good at idiot. telling the roast things. I'm, no, I would like I love to that. give them to other people. And then they have to apologize. <laughs> you look like a, a goth what? casino owner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> yes, definitely. But you I like think I happen to think you're a very beautiful man. <laughs> I, yeah. thought, I didn't mean to laugh like I wasn't jo I was not joking. I do. I just thought they were going to make fun of me for being... He's not going to give you free chips. It, it you, look <laughs> like, you, you look like uh, when you're not driving a small Uber X that you're <laughs> the king of Houston parkour. I feel like <laughs> I feel like you could jump from where you are to anywhere right now and do a backflip in the air while killing an audience. Uh, like I think you're gonna be one of the top parkour comedians in I the world one day. Do you own a sword? You're uh, looking what? around like I might actually be correct on this. Do you actually no, know parkour? No, he's doing the no? shifty eye was, where you're like, does he have a gun? I was about to get, about to get so get fucking shot? pumped. I was looking for a spot the to do a backflip. The first time in Kill Tony <laughs> history, we bring you live parkour. <laughs> <laughs> Best podcast ever. <laughs> That's the kind of crazy shit that does happen on this show, though. I'm not exactly parkour, but other weird stuff. Uh, uh, what are you into, George? Uh, it seems like you could do so many things. I got gotcha. you. Stand up <laughs> comedy, right? No, I got gotcha. you. And you're totally unbelievable at it, but I'm just <laughs> intrigued <laughs> by your uh, your look. What was the answer to ethnicity? Uh, I said guess. You know, you know what yes. I think? He looks I already like am guessing, George. I just asked you. Uh. <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm you know what I think he looks like, Tony? Wait, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. What, what, Jeremiah? Uh, I think he looks like uh, his family has owned generations of hot topics. No, my parents are Mexican, so. <laughs> well, You're hiding in that Native American hair? Caliente Topicas. His last name is Burrito. Of course he's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can get it from the name. My fake name. <laughs> huh. Oh, is your name fake? He's Whoa. whisper. He's saying, right. be quiet. George, so what do you do for work? I'm a cook. A cook. Fuck oh, yeah. Oh, you got to wear a hairnet, huh? Uh, yeah. Can you imagine getting <laughs> that long of a hair in your fucking... He's got hair down to his balls, dude. 
At that uh, point, it's your fault. Like, you missed that hair. That yeah. is some <laughs> really long hair. God damn. I mean, you you might be Mexican, but you could totally be, like, real Native American. You could get, like, free Tony's rock. just made you Native American. <laughs> you can't get you. If there's Golden a hair in someone's food, food you can't like even get out of it, though. Like, like there's no, no, it's pretty obvious there's no it denying <laughs> that it's that it's it you. It's not yeah. like yeah. Sofia Vergara is working back uh, there as well. And I would just own it. Like, just, uh, who's, whose hair is this? And I put my hair out. Who what? I just pull hair off and keep eating. Anybody else? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Give a fuck. Oh, if I don't, yeah, if I just pretend I didn't see it, I'm fine. I pull my chest hair out and put it on the food to get free <laughs> meals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gray pubic hair? That's so gross. Yeah, it's just a pubic hair in my food, sir. I know I ate half of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, George, like, how long have you been on stand up? Uh, almost three years. Almost what? Th- almost three years. Three years. Fuck yeah, that's about when you were done being the lead singer for Mars Volta, so that <laughs> makes sense. Um, hmm. What are you into? You, you have do a girlfriend? He does look yeah. Native American, though, right? Like Very it's, much it's, so. It's weird, like, uh, Mexicans look different out where we live, you know? Like, you're more like a Tex Mex, <laughs> right? Like,. <laughs> no, my, my, par- my parents are like from deep down Mexico. Like, they're in the part oh, where like, people get cu- cut yeah, their yeah. heads cut off and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's weird. He, d- he, he does <laughs> look Native American. Like, whenever you ask him how long he had been doing stand up, I thought he was going to say, I've been <laughs> doing stand up for many moons. Oh, God, how I love Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> you are the not laughing when we're making fun of you is so scary, by the way. <laughs> it's That's so scary. scary. Him not taking the joke and just gazing into our eyes no, and then okay. shifting them back and forth where he's like, bitch, I will bring a fucking longer jacket it's next time. <laughs> and I will blow your fucking yeah. brain I know up. you're not Native American, but if you ever move to L.A., prepare to pretend to be one for the yes. next 10 to 15 <laughs> years on TV. Not I a job like opportunity. I, I feel, George, I feel like you're like the, the, s- the reason why maybe, and also maybe it's why you go by a fake name, <laughs> but I feel like you're the school shooter that got away. Nah, <laughs> man. Uh, I mean, like nah, man, I'm not white. <laughs> what? I'm not white. <laughs> 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 yes. So many white people clapping right now. You fucking get over yourselves. It's you too. Look at this new like hate him. of the white man <laughs> since Trump has taken office. Yeah. It's reverse. I'm telling you. <laughs> I uh, I I thought you're great, and I uh, I love that uh, holding dog poop joke, so that people great think cat. you're good. But that's a really fucking <laughs> great joke. Yeah, you're freaky good. How much yeah. time do you think you have all together? Maybe ten. Wow. What's your comedy influences? Because it almost like seemed like a Steve Martin kind of right. uh, style that you have. And like Matt uh, and Jeff Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them too. <laughs> I don't know. Like, not, not, I don't really listen to much to Steve Martin, but I do like, I do like Don Marrera. Don Marrera, Don yeah. Marrera yeah. Is He's a, a good, good one. one. Yeah. I yeah. like how scared you were to say yeah. that. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know. like names. You're like, what if they don't agree? <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> in my village, we did not learn from any <laughs> comedians. I learned from the animals. <laughs> we made smoke signals to other villages <laughs> in the form of jokes. Do you have a pet coyote? LOL. By what? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. Oh, my God. So, George, what do your parents do for work? Uh, what do they do? Let me, let me ask your <laughs> Indian version. <laughs> they kill white men. <laughs> <laughs> by some the, some by of the your way, favorite Indian music from uh, Brian Redman. <laughs> by the way, he hasn't smiled at me once. Oh. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> he really is Indian. I feel like he's going to transform into a werewolf like a Twilight character. <laughs> <laughs> I went in, I killed, I, I got away. <laughs> well, man, you were really good. If you can, next Friday, come to the Ice House in Pasadena, <laughs> California. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> if you can make it out to the Ice House in Pasadena yeah. next Friday, you have a spot waiting for yeah. you. All right, yeah, I'll make plans. If, <laughs> if not, just uh, tweet 
tweet at Brian and sometime if you do end up in L.A. If you ever come to L.A., man, the spot's there for you. So I oh. really enjoyed it. There you go. Oh. George Brito, everybody. George Brito. Go that way. Sure. There he goes. There he goes with the beautiful locks. Gorgeous. Look at that hair. I wonder if they would drag in the poop when he's picking it up. Say hairs. that again. If his hair would like drag Jeremiah has decided to do a, hold on, wait a second, like everybody. It. Jeremiah has just gone into a song during a live podcast. Very good. Jeremiah is on fire right <laughs> now, guys. If this was fucking NBA jams, that's what would be happening. He is on fire. Oh, yeah. There you go. You guys ready to go back to the bucket meet uh. another fucking Houston person? Uh. We've had real comedians so far. I'm waiting for a crazy person. Aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> Put your hands together for Rich Chapel. His girlfriend. I had a gay friend of mine tell me the other day that uh, he thought if I was gay, I'd be a chicken queen. And I said, uh, you gay guys in your lingo, thanks, man. What the hell is a chicken queen? And he said, a chicken queen is a gay man who seeks out underage boys. <laughs> First off, Raul, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Second thing, why is that called a chicken queen? Couldn't you think of a more appropriate term like... Uh, I don't know, a Catholic priest, a scout leader, a red band. <laughs> but third thing, this heinous act of which you speak, it's a pretty gross thing to accuse somebody of. And just to set the record straight, I would never be gay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Wow, there you go, Rich Chapel, representing the, uh, the, the Trump University. That's In fair. closing, I would just like to take a moment. Uh, that's, that's fair. I would never be gay. <laughs> I don't know, Rich. I think there's some people that would turn you in a fucking heartbeat. <laughs> Come out to West Hollywood where we live. I mean, they'll... I just feel like his beard's trimmed up enough, you know? Yeah, I mean, you definitely take care of yourself. You have a nice, you know, Look how soft his hands on. are. You're well lotioned. Yes. Yeah, so Let's see who has a bigger hand. Hold up her hands. Let's do that. Wow, your hands are so big. <laughs> <laughs> you got soft hands. You really do that. Yeah. Rich, that was a that was, that was an that was an interesting thing. Maybe I like I feel like maybe I I don't know daydreamed through half of it. But <laughs> uh, what was the the phrase that you used for uh, people looking for younger gay guys? Chicken, chicken, chicken queen. queen, chicken queen, the chicken queen. Yeah. I've never I like heard that you know I just say like I. I, I love learning a new word in a set. I know. Yeah. That's a good thing. Chicken. I mean, it's really just two <laughs> old words smushed together. <laughs> that might just be something that uh, you think that's a thing thing, or your friend just made it up? No, I looked it online after he told me because I had no idea what oh, it was. Oh, Mr. Mr. Homophobic that would never be gay. <laughs> just so <laughs> happened to Google Chicken Queen after he hung out with his friend. My oh my, how we're getting more information yeah, by the absolute yeah. millisecond. Yeah. You did, huh? How long was that trip on the internet, huh? It was very quick. I bet. Chicken queen. I bet you came, came back. Seven, seven. <laughs> 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 Super quick. Chicken queen. <laughs> yeah, why'd you have to Google images? So dirty and wrong. I just came everywhere. Just at the text. Just First one's just some animated chicken with a crown on it. So I just, oh, God, so hot. <laughs> Rich, what's your story? How come you? How come you think you'd never be gay? Oh, I'd never say never. I'll try anything once. You say okay, never. Okay, so you just came out. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. By the way, didn't I quick. specifically say I think he's much gayer than I think? Quick and turn. Then there it is. Oh, quick yeah, turn. I mean, I didn't say never. I'm on. <laughs> just jumps under the table. <laughs> what do you do for work, Rich? I'm a graduate <laughs> student right now. 
<laughs> why'd you laugh so hard at that? What was that? You, why'd you laugh at the you work so hard question? No, no it's just, you just like, <laughs> he looks like a guy who'd be bullied, like, he'd say, like, you're gay. He's like, no, no, I'm not. I'll suck your dick and prove it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. That's the exact vibe that McGinn brings me. What, what is it? What do you do for work? I'm a graduate student. A graduate student. That's a career? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How old are you? 31. Right. Graduate student. What are you studying? Genetics. Look at his beautiful skin. Is oh. this what, what is it, jizz? Or <laughs> <laughs> what do you use? I've heard that before, yeah. that it's good for your skin, okay. yeah. Foreskin? <laughs> 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 That's what he told me anyway. <laughs> hey -o. What is Rich. What, what is your favorite category of porn, though, if you had to choose one? Right. Ebony. Ebony. Wow. Woo! I like that. I like that. Wow. Look at that. He likes those big dicks. Yes. Yeah. Man, yes. bingo. <laughs> mm. I walked right into that one. Take that, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rich, are you single right now? No, I'm married. You're married? What's that like? How long have you been married for? Five years. You have kids? Wait, is it no. legal in Texas? I didn't know it was legal in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're doing your sick married guy hide the ring thing. Oh, I don't wear it on my finger. Oh, you don't? No, oh. I wear it around. Do guys not like that? Well, it gets trapped in their buttholes. Rich. Just going to keep setting us up for these home runs here. Uh, Let's just keep it going, guys. Let's run the triangle offense. Rich, uh, let's talk about are there, uh, any, uh, there any hobbies or anything like that? Anything that, uh, any skills <laughs> or talents that uh, you have? Uh, I do have one skill. I can uh, make a mouse fall asleep in my hand. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, really? Oh, like a, you pretend it's a ball sack. <laughs> 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 Caress it and <laughs> <laughs> only a <laughs> only a male <laughs> underage my, mice <laughs> mouse wait, wait, is the wait, word wait, for what, one mice. What right? do you do again? I'm so busy trying to think of a gay <laughs> joke, but no, 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 I'm like, back and I'm like, what the fuck did he just? So it doesn't, so it doesn't, so it doesn't scratch up the asshole. He has a, a technique <laughs> that he puts it to sleep. Actually, and when you put it, it up, in uh, the thing <laughs> is, when you put it up Richard Gere's asshole, it actually coaxes it to sleep. The sphincter. So oh, if you oh, ever ask me, by the way, we we have him calling in right now. If you ever bring up the show again, I'll go, oh, the night that I forgot the word for one mice. <laughs> that was the funniest thing you've ever done, Ryan. Did you guys see that? Did everybody see that? Oh, my God. That was epic. Maybe we should always have you on the comedian <laughs> side. That, well, maybe not. All right. Why don't you wear your ring? Because uh, it tears up my hands when Because I he it. likes to put it on his necklace so that the guy behind can have something to hold <laughs> on to and be like, oh, it's Doesn't so it dirty what we're doing, you married <laughs> gay fuck. <laughs> you super married gay guy. It tears up your beautiful hands? Yeah, like when I weightlift. Jerk off ball. a dude? Yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're at the gym. <laughs> so wait, what do you Cruising do with a mouse? Dick. Say that again. He could, he, just, he could put it to get a uh, mouse asleep just by holding by it. By what? Do you, you do your stand-up for the mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Leave stink dick alone. <sighs> anyway. Rich, what's the, wh I mean, it, the, it seems like the theme of what we've uh, found out about you is that you're secretly uh, gay. You're super, like, there's something uh, somewhat homophobic that came across during your set. And then what did we find out? You're super gay. You're married. <laughs> um, you don't have any kids. Do you think your wife knows that you're gay? Uh, I'm pretty sure she thinks I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> well, why do you think she thinks that? What uh, happened? Anything just the specific? Comments that I call her Bob <laughs> accidentally. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She sees your text with she over your shoulder, she sees you've been texting Bob emoticons. <laughs> <laughs> this like, is uh, his ringtone. It's raining <laughs> <laughs> Brian Redband. Oh man. Uh, there he is. On the spot. Somebody <laughs> just said, like, no. He plays that every episode, you do fall. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> no, it's in an iPad. <laughs> Load it up. 
<laughs> oh. All right. Rich, anything else? Any other any questions? Or any, how long have you done stand up? Did we ask you that? Uh, this is my like fifth time. On stage. Wow, sure. look at that. Somebody <laughs> to reward you, one of the, one of the audience members is gonna let you suck their dick tonight. So <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. You're gonna get so much dick the more you do this. Yeah. Yeah. So good. It's good to be, you know. Mm -hmm. It's good to be funny. Might be me, I'll haven't decided you. yet. <laughs> you want to be one of the last ones? <laughs> Wait, what? The last women to suck his dick? Oh, I was going to let him suck mine. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you should. Rich, we're going to fly through. We're going to get to other people. That was fun, man. Good to meet Thank you. There you, you go. Rich, Keep doing, do a bunch of spots and just fucking knock it out. Take all that, take all that pent up gay energy and put it into doing stand up. <laughs> Either that or just get a divorce and fuck dudes. <laughs> You know, one or the other. <laughs> All right, we're flying through it. Put your hands together for three. Okay, we're on now. I think we might be more getting a little bit closer here. Put your hands together for Theodore, me, Taylor. I'm excited about this. All right, that's disappointing. Oh, Theodore. How about Michael Vargas, and ladies and gentlemen? Michael Vargas. What's up? How's everybody doing? Hey, you think if uh, Beyonce ever gets super fat, they'll start calling her Beyonce? <laughs> Hey, you think it's super hard for dyslexic people to do 69s? They just end up with butts on necks. It's not fun for anybody. Uh, you think it's possible to be uh, claustrophobic and closet gay? You think a woman's ever had so many abortions, she's earned the nickname Sandy Hook? <laughs> Guys, relax. That was like fucking four years ago. Um, I want to start a restaurant slash whorehouse. And call it brothels. We only serve soup. <laughs> yeah, can I get the uh, the rim job and the chicken noodle? Thanks. <laughs> Man, uh, I hate when people say no homo. It's fucking stupid. You shouldn't have to do that for like complimenting your buddy's shirt. <laughs> you don't have to do it for anything else. You're never like, oh, that's a cute puppy, you know, beastie. <laughs> hey, congratulations on the birth of your first child. <laughs> no pedo. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. No necro. Michael, Thank you. Michael Vargas, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Michael, yeah. you've done this show before, correct? Yeah, uh, I did the one in Austin in uh, December. Last well, year. there you go. Do you know Billy Bonell at all? Yeah, you told me that last time. You're like, <laughs> you said I look like a Mexican yeah, Billy like Bonell. Yeah. yeah, you look like him if he uh, fucked the guy that eats all the hamburgers. What's his name? The hamburger? The hamburger guy that just like made millions uh, of dollars m eating a bunch of shitty oh, shit. Man, man versus food? Spurlock? No. What's that? Guy Fieri? No. <laughs> By the way, why'd you say that like I an Italian waiter? Tips. Brian Redbeard? Uh, guy Fieri? Oh. I'll have a uh, Guy Fieri on the uh, Fettuccine. All right. Fieri. That's how he said it the first time. I guess I'm the only one Fieri. that heard it. Uh, so you've done this show before. What do you do for work again? I uh, work in a warehouse. Just drive oh. a forklift and Sounds shit. Sounds like some Breaking Bad shit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Do they let you get this high to drive the forklift? Or uh, <laughs> they don't. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I hope they don't know. You have pretty red shoes on. Thanks. And, and beautiful eyes. Thank you very much. Oh Goodness. God, and that Good wedding thing. ring. <laughs> <laughs> so horny. <laughs> well, Michael, I mean, like, like so many people tonight, we're plowing through a lot of comedians. Cool. You have a, uh, you have great jokes. You're fucking killing Thank it. You this very is much. your second time on the show. Anything else for Michael, guys? There you go. A bunch of people just heard you on a podcast. Kill Michael Vargas. Let's keep flying <laughs> yeah. through it. Thank you. Appreciate He's it. He's on Twitter at MikeyAV87. Let's fly through it. Let's. See. Let's, uh, let's see what can possibly happen here. Put your hands together for Jake Walker, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Walker. Jake Walker. <laughs> Put 
please tell me that's Jake Walker. Jake Walker, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody. Fuck yeah, it's going down. I think he's got it. <laughs> Put your fucking hands together right now for Jake Walker. Wow, good looking crowd. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm Jake Walker. Jake like Snake, Walker like uh, Luke Sky. I, uh, and I'm blind, so I, I still see a little bit. I'm not uh, what you call in the blind world a total. But uh, my ex informs me that in the asshole world, I definitely am a total. So, uh, uh, I've leveled up there. I uh, recently quit smoking. Yeah, uh, January. 35 years of Marble Rebs, I started, started vaping, sucking the uh, robo dick. And uh, I switched from the pen, and I noticed something uh, rather disturbing. Uh, and it's not that my new robo dick is heftier and black, but <laughs> it's... Uh, uh, I was waving it around, and it kind of looks like a gun, and I <laughs> think we can all agree. Uh, uh, oh, well, you could, you could even get a white guy shot, I think, right? <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah, Jake Walker, everybody. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Jake. Thank you, sir. That was awesome. How long have you been on stand-up? Uh, now. Of course, this, this is my is maiden your first voice. time maiden ever voice. on stage. What? What? Yeah. First time? Jake Walker. <laughs> Breaking news. Jesus. Jake Walker just uh, did scared the for audience. The first time. There's a yes. gun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably not I, the best uh, to put to do the whole gun thing. Because you probably did freak out as a handful of people. We saw their that. faces. <laughs> they were freaked out. Yes. Yeah. Well. And that that really ruins the. The, you know, well, what would be really funny part. is if like one of his buddies one day was like, let's fuck with Jake and uh, pull out the vape pen and put a real gun in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and then one night it just is a real gun. Just, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Jake, I, lo I loved everything. Like, how is stand-up something you've always <laughs> wanted to do? Well, I've always loved it. I mean, I grew up, you know, spending all the old vinyl... Richard Pryor, Frank, Franklin Jaya, you know, always listening to comedy when we were kids, right. you know, from 10 on. <laughs> we just memorized them and riffed together with them. So it's always been a part of my life. Yeah, but, uh, that's important. It's important not to turn a blind eye to comedy. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 I was, was waiting there. for it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's incredible, man. Uh, what what's like? You were were you born that way? Uh, no, I uh, used to have excellent vision. In fact, it's uh, hereditary degenerative retinal disorder. Yeah. Wow. Were well, you guys scared he was gonna say, "But I smoked too much weed" or something? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Oh no! I, was like, so I scared. masturbated so many times. <laughs> I just kept jerking my dick off, and then Once I lost. Once he found it. out what a chicken queen was, it was all <laughs> over after that. The same night. <laughs> Jake, what's your uh, what? I mean, what's that been like? When? How? Okay, mind me asking, how old were you when uh, when it, when it started to really go down? I noticed when I was in the army, I was in Anok, which is kind of wow. Like you were in the army. All of a sudden, <laughs> he's on the Iraqi side, just firing <laughs> off at Americans. It's like, uh, have we checked that Jake guy's <laughs> vision lately? <laughs> <laughs> we lost four more soldiers today. <laughs> it was Jake. He thought he was smoking his vape pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I just started noticing that I couldn't see things that other people could. My dad had it. My grandma had it. So it's, uh, it's been a... Uh, Something I knew was coming. Do you have siblings that don't have it? Uh, I'm the only one of four, so it's going. Oh, it's getting reduced in my family. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. You're the only one out of all four kids. Yeah. How uh, pissed are you? That's a, that's a good thing, though. I mean, oh. it's, it's getting <laughs> less and less in our family. <laughs> oh, that is. Oh, to <laughs> love your own family like that—that that is so beautiful. I was like, yeah, you must be pissed. Really no <laughs> Christmas presents for them. Yeah. You're like, absolutely. I'm just really happy they have the ability to see. Yeah. You want your Christmas present? Go. I was like, I bet you want your Christmas present. Wherever the fuck you are, I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any operation you can get to fix it or uh, get an absolutely. eye transplant? No, I've <laughs> actually had LASIK for the lens. It's, it's retinal, 
So uh, it's totally genetic. I mean, I'm sure one day there'll be a right. cure, but uh, there's nothing. The TV screen is the retina. So like the TV screen, the little dots burn out, and there's just nothing you can do. Wow. And when you say you can see a little, like, like you just see shapes or you see just very dim of it? He said he saw assholes. Is that I what that joke was? Gun barrel. You can it's only like see buttholes? I, I can see only I see, see buttholes. Tiny buttholes. <laughs> and uh, it, uh, it, I see about five degrees. Most people see about 190. So when I'm looking straight at something, I can, I mean, I can read a book without glasses. Uh, oh. So, but I, I just I feel just cheated. A bit. Like Don't we're cheated? Bit. Yeah. 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 I can read a book. I mean, I have no idea who you are, so you but I can read a book. you follow like one, like th you follow like a line or you, I'm, I'm fascinated, now I'm just fascinated by it. Oh, pardon me? Do you like follow like, like, can you see a page or do you follow like a line at um, a time, you know? Well, it's, it's kind of explained, it kind of focuses. I want to think it's I'm real bad. I'm glad you panamized that. that it's, <laughs> it's, like a, it's like looking down two of those tubes that come inside a toilet paper a roll or a paper towel, okay. something like yeah. that. It's a, it's yeah. a dot. Did you, say, right you say you had a wife? I have not. I've been engaged a few times. But been uh, engaged a few times. But uh, no, not Couldn't married. Couldn't see it no through. Kids. Never wanted to <laughs> Dude, absolutely, absolutely. It's not easy. You know, love is blind. Do you oh. not want blind. kids because you're afraid you would give them? Do you not want children? Is that what you said? No, but I, I did actually have a girlfriend who had RP in her family, and we couldn't, definitely, we had to not reproduce because of that. Because they would go blind? She had RP in her family, yeah. So we would probably had early onset kids that would have just been totally blind oh. all the time. So you have to marry Yuck. away from the trade. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, you Dang. don't want that. Did you meet each other in like a blind group? No, she, she didn't. You just a... found each other? Because <laughs> your sense of smell was so good, you could smell <laughs> each other's pheromones. Andrew, where are you? Andrew, are you here? Youngblood? Oh. Okay. How long do we have it in the show? Does How what time did we start exactly? Does anybody know? We had an hour after we started, and we just didn't. I think nobody paid attention to when exactly when we started. <laughs> What's, What's that? that? Was that Andrew? Andrew? A20. Uh, right. Okay. Whatever. So, yeah, we're good right now. Hang on, we wait it up there. You want to do one last one? Uh, yeah, maybe we could do something crazy. Uh, Jake, anything else on, like, your bucket? Like, is this a thing that you just started doing, trying to do things that you've never done before? Or is it, like, this show in particular? That you Have you listened to this before? Oh, I'm a total super fan. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I this watch show. Joe Rogan all the time. I watch uh, Kill Tony. Uh, I'm cool. back. And I just discovered it back in August, so I'm still back binging all the... I haven't even discovered it yet, so... <laughs> I've never listened to this podcast. You should check so. it out. They've both it's been the on twice <laughs> before, awesome. but... Um, wow, well, that's so cool. Anything so, like, all of life is like a podcast to you. <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> I'm that's high. actually okay, an interesting I, way I of looking at it. <laughs> so, uh, are you like Daredevil now, where your s other senses are heightened? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. What? Because I remember what, uh, I saw you. He's like, I can read books, you guys. I'm not that blind. <laughs> remember when I told you that? Yeah, are your senses heightened? Uh, you, 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 they don't get better. You just pay attention to them more. Right. Mm. Right. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, you do rely on uh, other things huh. a little more. Have you had some mishaps with that cane? Uh, mm. Ever fallen into, like, a train track? <laughs> or like? Uh, yeah, the th I mean, just tips break off of. Oh, Uneven yeah. sidewalks or You ever hit my someone's leg or sure. something and they get mad? Pardon? Do you ever hit someone's leg and they get mad or something like uh, that? Usually not. It's more like, you know, you're the asshole, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Annie Letterman. <laughs> do people ever do people ever see you with your cane and not I notice that you're... I thought he hated his brothers. I didn't know. Do people uh, ever see you with your cane and not notice that you're blind and they just think that you're a pimp? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Actually, I mean, most people are real cool, and I'll, I travel a whole lot. Uh, I'm retired, so I just have a lot of leisure time. And, pe man, people at the airport always coming up, want to help with my bags, and I'm like, I no, just I feel like you're faking it for attention, to be what? honest. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he look not blind at all? I, I do yeah. ham it up when it comes to first-class upgrades. So <laughs> have you ever thought about getting in the rap game and calling yourself two canes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my you God. You and two ladder could uh, go on a tour. I'm too old to get rap jokes. <laughs> well, Jake, uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were great. From beginning to end, beginning you were unbelievable end. tonight. Yeah. You should Keep look going. at this as a huge victory. One yeah. of the all-time great first performances in this show's history. Yeah. It's, it's, a, really it's, a it's a crazy dream come true. It really is. Thanks, that guys. That was really good. Yeah. There he goes, Jake Walker.
He just winked at me. For the final most exciting part of this show, we're gonna watch Jake Walker leave the stage. <laughs> gonna end this show with a fucking bang, ba bang, bang, ba bang. Well, be in Walkers by the time he gets off this stage. Don't. Come on, He's guys. Got, really? He's got this really? Show. It's not like you were with me this whole podcast, but really end like this. Guys, let's see how loud we can make it one more time for Jake <laughs> Walker, everybody. <laughs> Pretty cool. It was good. For the rest of you that signed up for the show, lucky you, you got to watch a f show for free. Congratulations. Uh, unfortunately, we ran out of time. We have a hard out. So uh, we did the show. Anything you guys want to promote or anything like that? Anything coming up? TonyHinchcliffe.com for me. 2017 oh, tour dates. Uh. I have the rest of this is my la Houston. This is my last stop of basically a year-long yeah. tour. I'm Come done. <laughs> Busiest year of my life, and no one else I'd rather close it out with in Houston. Catch me at the goddamn Comedy Jam, singing my heart out tonight with Jeremiah oh. Watkins. Yeah. Come to the Punchline Philly Thanksgiving weekend. Philadelphia. Yeah. Annie Letterman is with you Thanksgiving weekend. Morgan Murphy. I'll be in bed till 2020. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> The great, how about Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, hey, hit me up on social media. I'm at Jeremiah Stand Up on Just all hit social him up. media. Just hit me up. Just say hit what's up. Hit me up, up, guys. I'm at 310278. <laughs> uh, uh, and then uh, watch uh, Roast Battle in January on Comedy Central. Yeah. We're coming back, so. He's got his yeah. hands in everything. So many spinning plates. One of my favorite people. Brian Redband and I are going to be at San Francisco Sketch Fest, yeah. January 2017. Go there. Kill Tony is going to be there is what I'm saying. That's a big deal for you, San Francisco. All right. Live audience, Houston. We did it. Thank you so much. Good night. <laughs>